Absolute value. This is a review of the introduction. In today's lesson, students will learn how to solve simple expressions using absolute value. Using what? Very good. So as you recall from yesterday, or maybe you don't, we're learning about absolute value. Ms. Cotran, what is absolute value? Well, let's look at the definition. Absolute value, write this down now. The distance from zero on a number line, okay? Okay, so I gave you an example of a number line and I said, look, when we're talking about absolute value, we're simply talking about the distance, right? How many spaces from zero to get to a particular number, right? If I wanna get to three, I would move three spaces, right? One, two, three. If I want to get to negative three, I would also move three spaces. And it doesn't matter that I move to the left. Remember, absolute value is distance, and distance is always positive, right? Let's give you another example. So say that you walk two miles to the mall, and you walk two miles back. Okay? Does it mean that you, when you go back from the mall to your house, that you go negative two miles? Is there such thing as negative two miles? No. So your total trip would be two plus a positive two, which would be what? What's two plus two? It's four. So remember this. Make this with your arms. This is the absolute value symbol, okay? There are two straight lines. And this says it makes an integer what? It always makes any integer, tell me, positive, right? Because what is positive? Distance is positive. Say it. Distance is positive and it's always positive. So let's go through some simple examples. Okay. So I'll give you the example that we just talked about. If you want to know what is the absolute value of negative two, what would you tell me? What is the absolute value of negative two? It makes any integer positive, so what's the answer? The answer is, come on, what is it? It is positive two, good job, okay? Notice how my answer was positive. I don't write a positive symbol there because we are gonna assume it is positive. Okay, let me give you a real tricky one now, you ready? What is the absolute value of positive five? I know a lot of you might be tempted to tell me it's negative five because you're so used to doing the opposite when you uh, solve equations, right? Remember, what is the absolute value of any integer? It's gonna make it positive. So the absolute value of a positive number, is it still positive? Is it? Yes, it is. So what is the absolute value of positive five? It's what? Tell me. It's positive five, very good, okay? All right, so go ahead and finish getting that down. To remember the concept of absolute value, we created a song called Absolute Value, and it goes like this. We can go up and down, left to right, talking absolute value. The positive, never negative, cause it's just the distance from zero. You wanna try it? Come on, I know you're not gonna sound as good as me, but that's okay, that's why you're here to practice, right? Just kidding, okay, ready? Try and make the movements with me. Remember, we can go up, down, left or right, cause we're talking about what? Absolute value is, what is it? It's distance, so you can go really any direction. Talk an absolute value, they're positive, right? The absolute value symbol makes any integer positive because you're, it's just the distance from zero and distance is always positive. Okay, you ready? Let's go ahead and try it. Ready? Let's go. We can go up and down, left to right, talk an absolute value. The positive, never negative, because it's just the distance from zero. And it can go both ways, right? Okay, let's do some examples. 
So today, we'll be taking a look at some expressions where you have integers inside the absolute value symbol. What is this again? This means absolute value. So let's take a look at number one. This says the absolute value, what does it say? The absolute value of 13 minus 4. Okay, and what you need to realize is that this is a positive 13 and this is a negative 4. Okay, so to start solving these equations, you just have to ask yourself, well, what is 13 minus 4? Okay, 13 take away 4. So you could either think to yourself, well, 13 take away 3 is 10 and take away one more that's 9. Or you could count backwards 13, 12, 11, 10, 9. So you end up with 9, but the thing that you have to do is realize it is still in the absolute value symbol, okay? And so you need to make the absolute value around your answer and then ask yourself, what is the absolute value of 9? What is it? Don't say it's negative 9. Because absolute value is positive, never negative, because it's just the distance from zero. Remember? This is always going to be positive. So remember, absolute value is going to make positive integers positive, And it will also make negative integers positive. So what is the absolute value of positive 9? Guess what? It's positive 9. So you're just going to put a box around your answer, and there you go. Go ahead and get that down. Now read number two with me. This says the absolute value, people, the absolute value of 5 minus 10. 5 take away 10. Okay, 5 is a positive number. You don't see it, but it's invisible. Positive 5 and negative 10. Now I'm going to ask you something. You're starting with a small number, taking away a bigger number. That means your answer is going to be what? Positive or negative? You have to think, the answer is going to be negative. But why? It's because you have different signs. So when you have different signs, you say, different signs subtract. Keep the sign of the higher number. Then you'll be exact. All right. So really, this is asking you to take the absolute value of negative 10, which is 10, subtract 5. Okay. So what's 10 take away 5? Come on. Really? Yeah, it's 5. And then you ask yourself, what is the sign of the bigger number? Well, the bigger number is what? Is it 10 or 5? It's 10, right? So the answer would be negative 5. So 5 take away 10 then is actually negative 5. Okay? Yes? So this is asking you now, what is the absolute value? Because this stays an absolute value. It was already there. What is the absolute value of negative 5? What is it? It's positive 5. That's correct. Okay? Because if you were to draw a number line, go ahead and do that, you have 0 in the middle and negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5. This is asking you what is the distance between 0 and 5 or how many units, how many units are there between 0 and 5. So you count... One, two, three, four, five. And that means that there are five units away from zero, and that's absolute value of negative five. Okay, read number 13 with me. It says the absolute value of negative six plus 14. Okay, so we need to do the operations inside the absolute value first, right? So we have to think to ourselves, if we have a negative 6 and a positive 14, do they have different signs? Do they have different signs? Yes, they do. You have a negative 6 and a positive 14. So when you have different signs, you say different signs, subtract. So you're going to take 14 minus 6. This is really saying a positive 14 minus 6, right? So what does 14 take away? 6. 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8. Okay, so this is 8. Now, what is the sign of the bigger number? The bigger number is, what's the bigger number? 6 or 14? It's 14, and it's positive. So really, this is positive 8. Okay. So now we need to ask ourselves, what is the absolute value of positive 8? What is it? It's, it's not negative. 
It's positive 8. Very good. It means that there are 8 units from 0 to positive 8. Okay, so put a box around your answer and get that down. Okay, read the last example with me. It says the absolute value of negative 3 minus 7. Now, negative 3 minus 7 is actually saying negative 3 plus negative 7 more, right? Do you realize they're both red, they're both negative, right? So do they have the same signs or different signs? They have the same signs. So you say same signs, add and keep. And what are you keeping? What does keep mean? It means keep the sign, right? What's the sign of these numbers? It's negative. So what we need to do is add these numbers together. We have 7 and 3. So when you add the numbers together, what is 7 plus 3? What is 7 plus 3? 7 plus 3 is 10. Okay, but you have to keep the negative because these are both negative. Do you see that? If you have a negative 7 and a negative 3, when you add them together, you get a negative 10. So we're going to put negative 10 in the absolute value. And then we have to, have to ask ourselves, what is the absolute value of negative 10? Okay. Absolute value makes any integer what? It makes it positive. So let me tell you something. For all of these answers, they're going to be positive. Okay. There's a little hint. And if you get a negative answer, it's wrong on these. Okay, so the absolute value of negative 10 is what? It is positive 10. Very good. Okay, go ahead and get that down.